Well, hi, this is Budget Comics, back again with another budget haul. Uh, we're going to start off with our story of two figures once again. These are just figures that, if you're into collecting toys, uh, are still fairly cheap, but will maybe get more expensive uh, over time here. And I'm sorry, I have to move something out of the way. Um, what we have here, we have... Uh, the, uh, what was this, Marvel Super Heroes, Toy Biz, I think this came out early 90s in the X-Men X-Force series, early 90s as well, Toy Biz. Uh, this is the first ever figure of the Silver Surfer and the first ever figure of Warpath, or Thunderbird, I don't know what he goes by now, I think still Warpath. Um, you know, under $10 for both of these, uh, you know, again, if you're into collecting figures, this is a good, uh, just... Uh, two easy, good characters to get and easy grab. So, uh, you know, worth worth having if you're into collecting toys. Next, uh, I did this last video. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, this is a trade paperback kind of showcase here. Uh, you know, you can find these used for, geez, you know, under ten dollars even with shipping. Uh, this is Usagi Yojimbo, Grass Cutter. If you haven't been reading Usagi Yojimbo, Stands of Kai, great story. Samurai Rabbit, really cool. Uh, this is one of, the, you know, his more famed storylines. It's an epic, uh, uh, sweeping epic about uh, this sword called the Grass Cutter. And uh, it's got conspiracy, it's got ninjas, it's got everything. It's really cool. Uh, a lot of funny little... Uh, bits and pieces in there reads very quick. I mean, it's super thick. I know it's small, but it's super thick if you see that um, You know, so you could still find this for under ten dollars if you're into a good read uh, Next I have my single issue spotlight, but also just something that seems to be picking up some speed and uh, I recently got this for seven dollars. I never had this. I just didn't want to plunk down the money I found it for seven dollars this is Amazing Spider-Man uh, Annual number 21, and this is, of course, where Peter Parker and Mary Jane gets married. Now, there's two covers of this, not technically variants, they're just two different versions. And one has Spider-Man, one has Peter Parker. Um, so, you can still pick this up, uh, like I said, for under 10 bucks. Uh, good little story, fun little story, fun little read, uh, but also gaining some popularity. Next, with the Infinity War uh, announcement, this is Silver Surfer number 44. This is uh, the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. Actual, the actual gauntlet, as you said, uh, see in the uh, title, it says Fistful of Trouble. Uh, so, you know, a, a worthwhile pickup. Uh, I got this just recently for $3. It's probably going to be more than that. Uh, but this is Silver Surfer Volume 2, I believe. So, worth worth getting, worth picking up. Uh, and I thought I'd showcase this with Fantastic Four ending here in, in within three or four months. Uh, this is Fantastic Four 284, and this is where Invisible Girl becomes Invisible Woman. Uh, so if you're a fan of the FF and uh, are just nostalgic for them as their series comes to a close, which I don't think it will stay gone forever, but, you know. Uh, dollar Bin Book cool book um next omega the unknown number nine and uh this character recently appeared on uh comic book man and has been gaining a little popularity and i have his other appearances but this is the first full appearance of the second fool killer um let's say his name is greg salinger I, I i can't keep them all straight but the first one appeared in man thing number three and then died in man thing number four this one, his first real appearance is one panel in Omega the Unknown, number eight. But this is his first full appearance, and I got this for $2. So, a worthwhile pickup. Uh, something to have, something to, uh, you know, uh, you watch Comic Book Man, picked up the series, start liking the character. Uh, good one to have. And it's by Steve Gerber, who did Howard the Duck. Um, next is Uncanny X-Men 269. I got this for $2. Um... This is Miss Marvel vs. Rogue. Um, and, you know, if you start getting into uh, Captain Marvel, as she's known now, and with the movie coming out, and you start liking the character, this is a significant, uh, very significant issue uh, with that character as she fights Rogue for her powers back. 
Um, well, uh, you know, like I said, two dollars, and this was one of those. It was in the Jim Lee run. Where, you know, in the early 90s, mid-90s, you couldn't find this for under $10. Now you can pick it up in long boxes uh, for, like I said, a couple of bucks. So, worth grabbing. Next, we have Giant Sign Man Thing number four. And this is a Howard Duck appearance. First Howard Duck solo story. Uh, he appeared in Adventures to Fear number 19, and I think in like a flashback of Man Thing number 1, but this is his first solo adventure, and this is where he winds up on Earth. So this is where this, his series takes off from and everything like that. Uh, I think he appeared in the next Giant Size Man Thing 5, and then the, the series took over. And he battles some weird character, as he always does, called Garko the Man Frog, and... Uh, it's a fun little story if, you, if you're into reading it. So, uh, you can find the still for under 4 or $5. Uh, and this is Wolverine. I think this is like his third series, number 20. Uh, he dies in this issue. So, I just put this in here to let everyone know he's probably going to be back. This is nothing new. Uh, so, the death of Wolverine stuff, you know... Uh, if it's a good read, I haven't read it. If it's a good read, great. Investment-wise, it's happened before. It'll probably happen again with him dying. Uh, little uh, collector showcase here. Uh, Paul Chadwick, uh, prof first professional work. Uh, this is Dark Horse Presents number one. And this is the first appearance of Concrete. And, and this is, uh, you know, uh, a creator showcase. But it's also... Um, you know, just the comic book showcases. This is one of the first titles that really brought Dark Horse into prominence. This is where Mask came from. Uh, the Mask it, with Jim Carrey, if you remember that as a kid. And a lot of other characters kind of showed up in this. Hellboy was in this for a while. Uh, Alien vs. Predator. Uh, Sin City. This is one of those uh, series that really... Uh, propelled Dark Horse into uh, legitimacy, and, and it's an anthology series. Uh, not a bad read, uh, but like I said, first concrete, and you can find this for under $10. So if you're into just having cool comics in your collection for not a lot of money, pick this one up. This is Deadpool Circle Chase number two, and I highlight this because this kind of introduces two of Deadpool's first arts nemesises, nemesi. Uh, you have Black Box and Slayback. Slayback makes a cameo in the first issue. Uh, but who knows what's going to show up in the movie. Uh, you can probably still find this for two or three bucks. Number one goes for a little money, but I don't think the rest of the series really goes for much. Uh, Spider-Man number four, 49, if you want to get ahead of the Civil War stuff. Um, I saw they're reprinting the New Warriors uh miniseries where they developed the reality show and we know they've been optioned for a movie and uh and i highlighted that in uh one of my last videos uh this is the first appearance of cold heart which if you're familiar with the civil war storyline what sets it off is this uh horrible disaster in stanford connecticut and uh, where the New Warriors are filming their uh, reality show and uh, the town basically blows up because of Nitro, one of the villains, uh, exploding himself. Uh, Cold Heart was one of those villains. So if you want to get ahead of <laughs> the speculation, I don't think this is going to be worth a lot of money, but she may make an appearance and it might just be one of those uh, things, you, you know, if you want to get ahead of the game, uh, here she is. She-Hulk number eight, um, again, Civil War stuff, cool, again, single issue spotlight here, cool story, deals with the new warriors, people hunting them down, and they're not really looking for uh, She-Hulk as much as they're looking for Jennifer Wal Walters to represent them and protect them legally. Um, was kind of a big deal because it was one of these low-run uh, stories that uh, not many people paid attention to. But you, if you get into Civil War and you start reading and start collecting, this is a, a really cool issue to collect and have as part, part of a Civil War collection. Whether you try to sell for money or not, I don't know if it'll be worth anything. But 
uh, again, uh, kind of an overlooked gem in the whole Civil War story. Oh, and this was upside down. Um, so this is Secret Origins number 14, uh, presenting the Suicide Squad. This come, uh, came out between the Legend series and Suicide Squad number 1, and it's the origin of Amanda Waller, but also the the ties between uh, Rick Flagg Sr. Suicide Squad and Rick Flagg Jr. Suicide Squad. Um, it's a fun read, really cool uh Real cool kind of story. Gives you a lot of background into the Suicide Squad. So with the movie coming out and everything, if you want to know a little bit more about it, you can find this in the dollar bin. It might be worth something someday, but at least if you're a fan of these characters and want a little more background, uh, well worth the pickup. Uh, so again, that's Secret Origins number 14. And here we have, this is kind of my blue chip spotlight, but you can still find this for under $20. Uh book uh you know again with the wolverine death of wolverine thing and i don't think it's going to stick but if you're feeling nostalgic for wolverine and you want some a significant book uh you might not have in your collection this is uncanny axman 139 uh alpha flight appearance uh this is actually where kitty pride uh pride joins the x-men but it's also the first time wolverine's ever called logan and he gets his brown uh and maroon, uh, red, whatever, I don't know the actual, uh, color, but he gets that costume in this story. So, uh, you know, like I said, you could still find this decent grade under $20. Uh, if you're a Wolverine fan and you don't have this in your collection, it's worth, worth looking, maybe putting a bid on, on eBay, you might be able to catch a deal on it. So, all right, that's all I got for today. Like, if you like, I'll still post if you don't. Thanks. Bye.